Hey YouTube, thought I would do an update on the Red Sea uh, E260 Max behind me. Um, I've had this rolling now since I think August and it's uh, February 2020 now so it's you know getting close to six months I guess and I uh, thought I'd just kind of give you guys an update and let you know uh, what's been going on and show you what I got going. All right so this is my Red Sea um, it's a E260 or a Max E260, I forget uh, how they word it, but um, I've had this tank about six months, like I said in the intro, and uh, things are going pretty good. I had uh, had a setback here a few weeks ago, but uh, I've recovered from that, so I thought I would just kind of start taking you through things and show you uh, what's been going on. Um, I just want to take a second to thank you guys for watching my videos and those of you that subscribe to my channel If you are new, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe click that like button Click the subscribe bell to, to be notified and uh, also leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tank So We'll just kind of go through the livestock a little bit. Um, I'll just kind of Go coral, fish, coral, whatever I see. Um, as you can see, there's two large uh, rose bubble tip anemones, and then there's one here down here that just yesterday started keeping kind of closed like this. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I've got a pair of uh, clownfish that spend most of their time hosting in these nems. You can see they're a firefish. Um, there is a royal grama. I got a couple of. Uh, Chromus there. There's my buddy the hawkfish right there. Uh, I got a starfish over there and then there's uh, some cleaner shrimp and some uh, fire shrimp and a couple of types of wrasses. I, I know somewhere in here there's a six line and there is also, um, I forget the name of it now, and, uh, and then there's a purple tang. He's hiding out right now because I'm too close to the tank, but he's a little guy. And we'll see if we can get him out before the video's over. He's right behind this uh, um, frog spawn right now. And let me talk about this frog spawn, by the way. Um, this is one that I actually had in the bio cube uh, before I got this tank that was sitting in the same spot. And it was uh, super nice and, and lush and everything. And then I had some problems with that tank and it kind of closed up somewhat, but not completely. What you're seeing right now is the most open I've seen it. Like this kind of middle area, it's the first time in a while where you don't see like separation between heads. I know a lot of these heads around the bottom and sides are still kind of separated because they're not open all the way, but um, things have just really stabilized in this tank. Um, a lot of it I'm gonna attribute to using uh, a new type of salt, or new, new to me, Tropic Moran. I, I, I dropped um, using uh, Salinity by Aqua Vitro or Seachem and changed over, and I've, I've noticed changes right away. So I've got this pretty big um, hammer coral up here, which is doing well. Um, pick that up as a larger colony to start with versus a small frag. Um, a little teeny piece of frag of frog spawn to the left of it is finally bouncing back. I had had problems with it. Get a more close up of that hammer too. And then down below is my torch. Uh, it's really starting to open up and do a lot better lately. And then another type of frog spawn next to that. A uh, little type of a hammer down below. Got some mushrooms right there, some zoas, that type of thing. A uh, little island of green star polyp, which is fun. I know it's a super basic coral, but I always like them. Behind this rock there, there's a type of mushroom, but it's not very colorful. And then I've got some more zoas right here and uh, some rock anemones. Uh, there's another one over here, right here. One over there by the starfish. A couple others throughout the tank. Uh, different type of frog spawn on that kind of point right there. And then the one I talked about earlier. Zoom in on that. And then I've got another hammer up here. A couple types of frog spawn right here. One that's more of a purple type, one that's more of a green with purple tips. 
Um, if you haven't kind of caught on, this tank is definitely going to be more of a LPS softy tank. I uh, don't really have anything real um, SPS related in here other than a couple, there's like a Monty cap that I brought over from the other tank back behind there. Um, there's uh, some pallies right there that are partially closed right now. I got this toadstool up at the top that I really like. And then um, my little Duncan colony is doing pretty good. Um, I've got some Zoas, little frags up at the top there, uh, a couple other pieces, and then a cabbage leather back there. And then uh, my original NEM from back when I had the bio cube. I don't know if you remember, but it was always on this right side of the tank, and at one point it was just huge, and my two clownfish at the time just spent all their time hosting over there. Um, here's some trumpet coral right here, um, some candy canes, some more zoas, that type of thing. Um, but yeah, overall it's just been doing fairly good recently. Um, the problem I had, uh, the setback recently, is what, what I did was I decided to try some of that um, Dr. Tim's Waste Away. Um, they came out with a new gel. They've had the liquid formula for a while. And um, what it did was it made my skimmer go crazy, which is expected. I didn't realize that um, because I didn't do enough research, but um, turns out that that's expected. So I turned the skimmer off and it was probably off for too long. So the corals started reacting to not having the skimmer off and um, it just turned into a big mess. It took me a week or so to really recover. I ended up taking the Dr. Tim's Waste Away out and I'm just gonna manually continue to work on removing sludge and that type of thing from the sump. That's what I had gotten it for was in hopes of helping to reduce detritus and things like that in the sump. Um, anyway, lesson learned, but uh, I started getting worried that I was going to lose everything because these corals were really closing up and not looking well, but everything's bounced back completely and actually doing better than it was before I, I, gave, I did that little experiment. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in here on the purple tang, and you're just not going to see him. He's, he's always out uh, until I'm really close to the tang. Uh, maybe what I'll do is put some fish food in and uh, see if we can't get some of the fish to come out that aren't really out right now. I'm trying to hold this and open the fish food at the same time so you have to forgive me if things get a little shaky here. There's a goby in here too that usually only comes out when I feed. Food in. We'll start seeing everyone go crazy. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, there's another ras right here. I've forgotten what he is, so if you know, please leave a comment. There comes the purple tang. Some of the shrimp should come out. Six line ras back there came out. Little bitty purple tang, he's just not showing up well on the camera. But um, there's the fire shrimp. Last guy that usually comes out is the goby. There's a pistol shrimp in here that I had, that I bought in with a goby that didn't make it. And now the new goby hasn't quite found the pistol yet and they haven't really paired up. The goby usually comes out of here. It's an Aurora goby. But um, we'll just see. If uh, anybody else comes out that hasn't been seen, I'm gonna zoom in on this grass a little bit here. Let me know if you know what that is. I didn't write it down and I've just completely forgotten. Oh, there's the goby. I just wish he would pair up with uh, the pistol, but it's been about two weeks and he still hasn't seemed to have done that. At one point I had two gobies and two pistols in here, so it could be that there is another pistol hiding back there that he's with, because this seems to be back in the area that he likes to be. Um, I 
yeah other than that that's really about it um i guess we'll kind of end the video at this point but uh i appreciate you guys that uh that watch these videos if you're new to this channel uh hope you like what you saw and might consider subscribing uh, hit that like button let me know what fish and what coral in this tank are your favorite in the comments uh, let me know if you have any questions or or comments as well down in the comments and make sure to hit that like button until next time thanks for watching